One day after Wisconsin health officials laid out their plans to distribute the COVID-19 vaccine, local health agencies are telling our Chris Schuler what will happen when it arrives in our backyard. For months, the nation's waited for a vaccine to fight the coronavirus, and later this week, the FDA is expected to authorize the Pfizer vaccine for use in Wisconsin. Distributing COVID-19 vaccine is the most significant public health undertaking of our lifetimes. According to Wisconsin DHS, once approved, the state could be sent almost 50,000 doses of the vaccine sometime yet this month, stored at sites for distribution where it will be kept in ultra-cold storage. It will be sent in batches to hubs in each of our, our healthcare emergency response coalition regions. DHS says the state's 450,000 healthcare workers and then long term care residents will get the vaccine first, but that could take a couple months. Other high risk groups will follow these initial groups and then the general public will also be eligible. It goes through the FDA. The director of pharmacy at Bell & Health says they are ready to vaccinate their employees. The plan is to uh, administer centrally, so at one of a couple of sites. And when the time comes, they'll be ready to help immunize the general public. This vaccine is not like an influenza vaccine where um, you go everywhere and you can get the vaccine. We will administer these by appointment only. But Van Dyke says based on the fact that the two vaccines expected to be used from Pfizer and Moderna require two doses, it will take months to vaccinate everyone and patients is needed. We're looking into mid to late 2021, I think is a really realistic um, you know, goal for us to be thinking about. In Green Bay, Chris Schuler, Local 5 News. DHS urges everyone to get vaccinated when possible, but they will not mandate immunization. Well, the governor 